Moses Francis Masika Witangula was born on September 13, 1956 in Nalondo Division in Bungoma County. His father Dominic Witangula is a retired teacher at Nalondo. His mother Faustina Nekunda Witangula is also late. She died of COVID-19 complications, Witangula has brothers and sister. His younger brother by the name of Tim Wanyuni is the member of Parliament of Westlands constituency. His other brother by the name of Fred Witangula is a businessman in Nairobi. He also has a younger sister by the name of Emarinshon Naswa. His other brother by the name of Tony Waswa is also late. He succumbed to COVID-19 complications in May 2020. At the age of eight years old, Witangula shunned an opportunity to study at Namilama Primary School, which was only one kilometer away from their home. He chose to enroll at Nalondo Primary School, which was five kilometers away. He chose Nalondo because it was sponsored by the Roman Catholic Church. He then proceeded to Busakala Secondary School. He also went to Terami School and later Friends School Komusinga for his A-level education. Witangila enrolled at the University of Nairobi where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in law. He began his career working as a lawyer in the early 80s. He worked as a magistrate in Yata, Kisi, and Rongo. He got bored of the routine of going to court every morning, taking pleas of drunken characters and traffic offenders. When he was in South Nyanza, the bulk of work he was doing were customary divorce cases. After the 1982 attempted coup in Kenya he represented the alleged coup plotters who had intended to dethrone the late President Daniel Moi who was the president of Kenya by then. He was paid 30,000 Kenyan shillings as a legal fee at that time. He however got bored with the job and resigned and joined private practice. After the year 1992 he was elected as the member of parliament of the Kenyan National African Union Kanu Party. He served until the year 1997. He has held other public positions like the magistrate and chairman of the Electricity Regulatory Board. From February 2003 Witangila represented Sarisia constituency in the National Assembly until January 2013. From June 17, 2003 he served as an assistant minister for foreign affairs under the late President Mwai Kibaki until January 10, 2008. Later in January, the United Kingdom criticized the presidential election. Moses called out to the United Kingdom High Commissioner Adam Wood and said that our elections don't need a stamp of authority from the House of Commons. This happened after a power-sharing agreement was reached between Kibaki and Rayla Odinga both of whom claimed victory in the presidential election in the year 2007. He was a member of the board of directors of ICROSS Kenya from the year 1989. He stepped down when he became the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He served as the Minister for Foreign Affairs from the year 2008 until the year 2010. He was accused of using 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings to purchase a low-value land in Tokyo, Japan for the Kenyan Embassy. He was to accept that property for free from the government of Japan. The 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings that he used was obtained after the sale of Kenyan property in Nigeria. Because of the scandal Witangila was told to step aside and the late George Saitoti served as the acting foreign affairs minister in his absence. Witangila was absolved in the allegations and he returned in the ministry in August 2011. The late president Mwai Kibaki reshuffled his cabinet and Witangila was moved to serve as a minister for trade in the year 2012. He had returned back to Kenya from the country of Mali where he had been held up for several days after coup d'etat. He was held up in Mali when the rebel troops toppled the government of then-President Amadou Toumani. 
There were heavy crossfires and there was also a notice that no airplane were allowed in the airspace of the country of Mali. Witangila's life was sailing close to the wind as he remained stranded in his hotel room. The heavy gunfire was witnessed in Bamaki in Mali at that time and Witangila survived the death scare after a chartered KQ plane evacuated him back to Kenya four days later. When he landed at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport from Mali he said that having gunshots ringing in the air like hailstones around you is not the easiest of things. He served in the trade ministry until the year 2013, Witangila left this position so that he can contest for the senatorial seat of Bungoma County. He won the seat of the senator for Bungoma County and he was also selected to serve as the minority leader of the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Code. On September 30, 2013 the Bungoma High Court nullified Witangula's victory as the senator of Bungoma County. On October 16, 2013 the Speaker of the Senate declared Witangula's position as vacant and a by-election was held on September 19, 2013. Witangula who was Ford Kenya candidate won the elections and recaptured his seat as the senator of Bungoma County. He got a landslide win after garnering 149,458 votes against his main contender Musicari Combo who garnered 81,016 votes. In March 2018 Witangula was ousted from the Senate Minority Leader's post and he was replaced by James Orengo. Witangula is a married man with several wives under his name. His first wife is known as Phyllis Witangula but they doesn't live together. He also married a Bukusu woman under Bukusu traditional rights and they were blessed with two children. Witangula neglected the Bukusu wife together with the two children. So the woman went to seek court order for Witangula to support them. He married a third wife by the name of Anwacheke Ngugi. Some years back Anne was accused of battering Witangula on the accounts of infidelity. Witangula's children are known as Fidel Witangula, Sheila Witangula and Tomara Witangula. He also has two children with his customary wife. Witangula is a very wealthy man. He owns properties along Ngong Road in Nairobi, he has residential shares in Adon and Makoka and company advocates. In the year 2019 Witangula was mentioned in a multi-million fake gold scandal that saw the Saudi royal lose a huge amount of money said to be over 400 Kenyan million shillings. In the leaked phone a man who had a voice similar to that one of Witangula was heard communicating with another man of Arabic ascent. Through the conversation the man who had a voice similar to that one of Witangula was heard mentioning other powerful government officials including the president, ODM leader Rayla Odinga and Fred Matiani who is the former cabinet secretary for interior. Rayla's role was alleged to link up with former president Uhuru Kenyatta for the clearance of gold. Rayla went ahead to distance himself from the allegations saying that he was only a whistleblower. He also abdicated Fred Matiani of any investment in the matter. He revealed that Matiani's voice had been doctored through a fake phone call, at that time the Arabian man was lamenting in the delay in the delivery of gold despite having paid for them. Witangila was summoned by the DCI and he termed the matter as a non-issue. On August 8, 2022 Witangila was elected to serve for another term as the senator of Bungoma County. He resigned as the senator so that he can run for the Speaker of the National Assembly. Ford Party leader Witangila was elected as the Speaker of the National Assembly. He replaced Justin Muturi who finished his term. Witangila who shifted to Kenya Kwanza beat Kenneth Marende of Azimio La Umoja won Kenya Coalition Party. He garnered 215 votes against Kenneth Marende who garnered 130 votes during the first round of voting.
The voting was set to go for the second round because none of the candidates had the required two-thirds of the votes needed. Marende withdrew from the race leaving Witangula as the winner. Witangila who is popularly known as Popa Waroma was immediately sworn in as the Speaker of the National Assembly after taking the oath of the office on the floor of the House. As the Speaker of the National Assembly Witangila earns 1,160,000 Kenyan shillings including 250,000 house allowance and 214,000 Kenyan shillings market adjustments. On top of that Witangula is also entitled to 40 million Kenyan shillings mortgage loan, 10 million Kenyan shillings car loan and 25,000 monthly airtime allowance.